Hey, Ed in the north. What's up, brother? Just want to put another little video up. I got to load the first little one where I cut the uh, front frame section out from here. Cut the welds. Took like a couple hours to get the rest of the metal out of there because it slides back in to the tip of my finger back to there. Cut welds here and this one all the way around. Put the new uh, frame rail in, bolted it up, got the new bumper reinforcement on it. Just have a little uh, fitment to do. Had to bend this frame horn around a little bit. And I got her. They didn't give you a four hour time to replace that section of the frame, so I got it done in three three hours and I just got to weld it up yet so and dress it up and make it black so that's probably the four hours total so it's about right <clears throat> this is the truck the black Dodge I put up with the section of the top corner of the bed I cut out straight and weld it back in and smash hood and core support and all that there it is. And over here lays the old frame section that I cut out. Yeah, this is the bottom of it. There's looking at it from the side. And when I cut it off, there's the welds. And these two two pieces were in the in the frame like that. That I had to dig out. I got the primer on the Honda hood. I got my 2014 Dodge Dart rocker done and primered today. I'll sand them first thing in the morning. That, the Do uh, Dodge Dart and the 03 uh, four door Civic, it is 03. Sand that hood down and stuff. Then this is going to go out for tires tomorrow. Actually, just taking them off, taking to the local tire shop, and getting new ones put on it. What I wanted to show you. This is the one I cut that piece out of the bed, straightened it up, and put it back in. Couple little dings, gotta sand that yet. That just gets primer fill it, but yeah. Kind of needs tires, chunks of rubber out of it. And they're like slick. <laughs> and there's dents on the roof. Um, this here is part of the structure of the truck. And this here was pushed in from the rad support. It got hit right here on the on that frame horn. You can see obviously it was bent back and it wrinkled it here up at these uh, crush zones they are. So there wasn't really much fixing that. I was going to cut this off here all the way around and just put this piece on that one, but fair better not just go all the way back to there and just do it the way it was from factory. And uh, this was pulled out. So these are the same angles around here now and uh, just dry fit everything anything holding that rail up is the bolt right here underneath and then this is just hanging here tomorrow I'll put a nut on each side to draw it back just a little bit tighter this frame horn here the flange or bumper bolts to do is like twisted like this back like this side was curled out and this side was curled back so you can see it's a little wavy from me uh tweaking it around but once i get it fitted nice nice enough then i'll uh hammer and dolly it straight that way you can't see anything there it is i want to put up a quick little video and on the other side of the shop oh i threw out i'm gonna run over here to the other side quick Looking around at the cold booths. 
there's a bumper cover for the dart. <coughs> A tree fell on that one. I'll show you pictures of, or video of the F-150 when it's when Tom comes when I get into it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, looks a little brighter in here. It's one I wanted to show you. Got some freebie used lights and two cases of bulbs. They're the uh, warm uh, white instead of the cool white. I don't know if you can tell the differences in. Some of the bulbs are not in a video. They all look bright, but at least I can see in here now. And I started tearing the 85 Shadow 1100 down. I know it'll crank, I cranked it before, but no spark. So I gotta start with um, bypassing every freaking safety I can think of bypassing on it and uh, dig. The other, uh, the gas tank, whatever you want to call it, it's down below here, from from here to here. That's a whole other gas tank, but if you watch here, you can see it's, it's full of gas enough to run. So I ain't too worried about it. I'm just going to cap it before I do. I want to test the uh, fuel pump and stuff like that uh, manually, you know, with just 12 volts. So I'm going to cap that hole off so I don't have no fires. But uh, starting to tear that down. So see if I can get it running or not. Maybe I'll just put the thing up for sale. Get it out of my hair. I got rid of that little mini bike. I'm not going to do that. And then the Suzuki DS80. It's a 1981. I still like. I'm still stubborn enough to keep that and uh, get it going. But there's our parts area. Those are just two tires that came with this uh, Shadow 1100. But that's all I wanted to put up. So having more light in here now and being centered, they were kind of like in the middle of the bay, but I moved them to the sides like uh, so I can see down low when I get back to working on the vet here. Everything's stripped to the bare except for like around the jams of everything. And I want to take the doors off of it. And that way I can jack it up. And uh, you see I still got a mess on the bottom to do. Just a little bit like that here and there around it on the sides. There's like a million layers of paint. Get in there closer on it, and it's old school, you know that. And old enamels and probably lead-based crap from '73. Um, is some bits of sand, so that's where I'm at with it. Just want to put a heads up. Added lighting, changed all the old ones out, moved them around a little bit. Give me some more light in here to work. Motivate me more, actually. And same way with this 650. Shadow, it's an 83. Um, I like the style of the tank, and who knows what I'm gonna do with that. Don't know yet. We'll see. One, I guess one thing at a time, you know how it is. All right, peace, brother.